Big day for Gabrielle, first day of college. Are you yeah, excited? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really excited. So she's all ready. We actually, she, so your first class is until when, like 11? Uh, it's at 11.30. So we have time for a leisurely breakfast. Oh, yeah. So dad's making pancakes. Enter dad. Enter dad making some pancakes. I think Jagger requested chocolate chips. Yeah, well, you don't always get what you want. Do we not have any? No, he doesn't eat. We have syrup with it. That's okay. And we put some coffee on and Jagger, where did you go? Oh, he likes to look at himself on the little camera viewfinder. Can you see you? Yeah. Who's that? He's like, where did I go? Is that you? Yeah. Who's that? Gemma. Gemma. <gasps> So it's actually all of the kids' first day of school back from winter break, um, so they're all starting today. And Gracelyn actually is also taking a college class this semester, but hers is like online. What's it called that the kids are doing? It's like college credit Like thing, dual enrollment? You know? Yeah, I think I actually did that when I was in, uh, I went to high school like Lindenville outside of uh, Buffalo, and I did the same thing. So she's getting college credit. Yeah, she gets like college credit for, is that what it's called, Gabrielle? Like when she uh, does like the, the... If you're a high schooler and you're taking college classes, like while you're taking high school classes, you get, I think you get college credit. I think you get college credit and credit. high school credit. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's doing that. So uh, she's upstairs getting ready right now. Um, and then Jagger is not old oh enough for God. school yet, but soon, okay, buddy? <laughs> yeah. So do we want to give a quick explanation as to why Gabrielle's starting school for the first time in the spring semester instead of the fall? <laughs> I took um, I took a one semester break after I graduated high school. A hiatus, or what's it called? A sabbatical. It's called Is just what's it chill. Called? Just it's called chill. chill and try to figure some stuff out. Yeah, it's, it's called it's graduate awesome. and then not immediately go to school. Yeah. <laughs> Which I think is actually a good plan because she had a couple months just to chill and kind of figure out what she wanted to do and what she wanted to take and all that kind of stuff. And now she's starting in the spring. So we just dropped Gabrielle off at her college class and the junior college that she's going to is really close to like, well, there's like a movie theater over here and a bunch of like sh shopping centers. It's close to everything. Um, and we had some errands to run. Like I wanted to go into Trader Joe's and also oh, I needed to Oh, those heart cookies Target. are so good that they sell. And it's Valentine's Day coming up soon. So I was actually thinking about that. But then this morning when I was cleaning up my purse, I actually found that I have a Panera gift card. Yes. And there's a Panera gift oh. Oh, you're Jagger, I want a donut. Well, I'm gonna run against the pastries. When I ran into Panera, I was gonna use a gift card that Melissa found, but apparently she found the gift card uh, for $15, which is great, but it was from 2012. Gift cards don't expire. And they don't expire, but I went in, it wouldn't swipe, it doesn't have a pin. They're like, you're gonna have to contact corporate. So yeah, so it so didn't work exactly how we wanted it to work, but we got some treats. Are we ready to go in? Going to yeah, Target? we're gonna run into Target. I have to grab a couple things for Valentine's Day. Um, I'm putting together the little Valentine's Day baskets for the kids, so Graceland's gonna have to close my eyes. Close her eyes. So because Graceland's college class is online, she can go to Target in the middle of the day. Yes, I checked my syllabus, and the in-person classes have homework and assignments. But if you're just doing the online Home school then you just have to do the assignments and have a talk to the discussion board with the other which seems there. like it seems like kind of a cheat honestly because comparing like Gabrielle's syllabus to Graceland's syllabus for like similar classes it's pretty obvious that the remote one is like it's, it's kind of a cheat kind of a <laughs> three fourths of the work that's gonna be really cute for Valentine's Day these are really cute, these little t-shirts. They're like stretchy kind There's of. There's a lot of colors. Here. They have a lot of bright colors. Did you see the sweaters behind you too? I like Grayson's shirt right now, the blue. Well, I got it from American Eagle and it came yesterday. Oh yeah? So she was so excited when it came. And also Gwen got a couple new pairs of jeans that we ordered. It was kind of a guess, like on her size. And they both fit her exactly perfect. Look how colorful all of these choices are right now. I was all these shirts up against the wall over there, universal threads, like. This is fun. This is like very spring and bright. Well, this store, we usually don't shop at this Target, but this is the one that just did the big remodel. Oh, yeah. So that's why I think they got like all new stuff because they even have like swimsuits and stuff over here already, which is a little oh, yeah. early, but that is... so cool. Got some fuel over there. Okay, so I don't know if it's just California. I think it probably is because of the weather system. It like, is terrible today. right now with mosquitoes. <sighs> mosquitoes are really bad, but I think it has to do with the weather the last week. So there's like a, what'd you call it? An atmospheric river or something? Yeah, but it's also a heat wave, but like we got like into the 70s. Which is wild. So we live in Northern California, not Southern California. And this type of year, type time of year, it's not normal to have 70 degree weather up here. And the last four days up until today were 70 degrees, mm -hmm. which I checked is 14 degrees higher than the, the average, average high of yeah. this time. 
and all the mosquitoes came out yeah. because it got warmer. Hopefully right? it freezes again and kills them all. That'd be awesome. That's what I was telling Graceland. So um, I actually think I saw these, like these look so cool. These are like little table torches because we have so many mosquitoes like in our area and we could fill it with this like mosquito repellent stuff. Fuel, yeah. And then hopefully keep the mosquitoes off the patio. This smells like coconuts. This seems like a really weird collab. I just think that whoever's using peanut butter deodorant just shouldn't be using deodorant at all. <laughs> I just think. Wait, so which one did you smell? This one smells fine. It just smells like coconuts. Like okay. they kind of left out the chocolate. What about that Thin Mint one? Those are my the favorite thin cookies. Thin Mint one smells good too. More minty than. I feel like this is a, but this is a weird collab. It's a weird collab. Oh my gosh, you found me. Dad's easy to find because he's got his orange jacket on today. Yeah. I actually like that for you. You really Why stand out. Why did they choose peanut butter over the lemonade ones? See, like I they chose yeah, peanut lemon butter would be over way better. Lemon ones, like... Dad, they have peanut butter deodorant. Yeah. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> peanut butter deodorant. Like and then wait, so they also have what is what is this yeah. one? That one. And oh, that is, is lemon. That, one. that is lemon. That's not lemon. This is lemon. Oh, this one's lemon. And then the body, this one says body wash shortbread. Or, you want your arm, armpits to smell like shortbread? They don't have a body wash or hair wash for those ones though. They chose peanut butter over lemon. Hey, people that. like peanut butter. Let me smell the lemon one. This one just smells like lemon. This one's a lot better choice. Oh, that one actually does smell like right. Of all the things, I think that one probably smells yeah. the best. We're back, and Gabrielle's back from her classes. How did yes. it go? Uh, it went really good. There is like a lot more people in that class than there were in like my high school classes a while ago. So, you know, it's, it's fun. Everybody's really nice. We, did, we uh, had a lot of discussions, like class grouping, and uh, I really That's enjoyed That's cool. It. That's cool. We got some, our pastries are still here. That's still a little bit left over. Jagger's sleeping, so Dad's going to carry him in. Yes. And, oh, we got a package I wanted to open and see what was inside that, so we're going to do that in a second. So Gretchen got the package, and we yes. took the tape off. What's in there? What? Ooh, it this is, is a PR package from Brox or Brax Candy. I'm I not sure know. how you oh say gosh, it. Oh my gosh, it's like... If you guys know, let me know in the comments. This is a company that makes all the little, like, conversation hearts and stuff. Oh my gosh. Call me. Call me. Rockstar. <laughs> Rockstar? Is that new? I don't know. I think they had to change them. Now they say, like, Go. oh, call me, text Key. me. Okay, so we just opened the box, and there is a bunch of conversation hearts. And I oh. guess these are new. There's, like, Mellow Cream Roses. What? What's Mellow Cream? These are, like, um, kind of like candy. The stuff that, like, they make candy corn out of. Oh. But it's like roses for Valentine's Day. Oh, so These it's are kind so of like, cute. Is this kind of like the pumpkins? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly yeah. like that. So like how there's like the pumpkins, except it's roses for Valentine's Day. Oh. Oh, I know. It's super cool. Jagger fell asleep in the car for a second, and I tried to bring him in, you know, like Mission Impossible, and see if he'd keep sleeping. He didn't. He woke up. He wanted some apple juice, which we got some apple juice over at Target, so that was kind of good. And now it is lunchtime. Well, it's lunchtime, but I'm actually prepping dinner right now. Um, you might making... have a little bit too much, though. Well, maybe we have to make rice too. So we've been trying to cook at home a lot more lately, uh, just because you know everything's expensive, especially eating out. Yeah, this is like a crab seafood salad. This is like a seafood salad. This is like a recipe that I kind of came up with the last time I've been making this like a year or two. Yeah. Yeah. So I've kind of been tweaking it, but the whole family loves it, and we just make like a big pot of rice, and then we have this like crab salad. So it's kind of like almost like the inside of like a sushi roll, right? Yeah, it's like a well, what is it, like um, yeah, like a like a poke bowl, but yeah. like with crab. But yeah. I actually would love if anybody watching has like really good, like family friendly meals. Cause that's the other thing too, is like coming up with the recipes that like everybody will eat, you know, including the little kids. Yeah. That's not spaghetti. Obviously we make spaghetti. And it is hit and miss. So like little kids, I mean, they don't love the onions and it's, it's hit and miss. But the, even if they don't eat a ton of this, like the they rice. will eat the rice and then we're going to make like um, some shrimp and stuff too with this. But if you guys have ideas for like family friendly meals that are not super expensive or they're like super easy to make, that would be like really helpful too because a lot of it is time. Like when you're cooking at home, like it takes so, it's so yeah. much time to cook. So give me your recipe suggestions like in the comments if you have any because yeah, we're, that's like kind of our New Year's resolution, right? It's like we're yeah, try trying to eat better to, and save a little money. Goodness. I realized that last, well, so we're at the end of January right now. For the whole month of January, we did not order DoorDash once. Good. So we did it. We had pizza delivered a couple times, like twice, in oh, like yeah, six weeks. DoorDash. I know. Oh, we, did, we did really good so far this month. I thought I'd show you guys what our school situation looks like. So we have some desks up here. Gretchen does school. That. Oh, these are so cute. Oh, yeah. These are a couple of stickers that I liked. Okay, and then Gemma's over here. Yep, Gemma uses an iPad, and they all do their classes online, so 
you know, I don't know if Gwen told you, but they yeah. just kind of log in, they watch the videos about what they're doing in school that day, and they do their assignments, right, Gemma? Yeah. And sometimes I help her, because Gemma is in first grade, and some of the stuff she has to read, she's not great at reading yet, but most of it's videos, and most of it is pretty easy to figure out, you think? Yeah. Yeah, pretty easy. What are we working on right now? Uh, math. Math, is that your favorite subject, or? Yeah. It is? Yeah. Favorite? Training out a little bit. He is doing fort time? Yes. Um, I know Jagger. How are you doing, buddy? Good. Good. He just likes to jump from piece to piece. But I got, I like that you guys have the RV. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, can you show him your little fort, Jagger? Your little tent? Go in there. Oh, right there? And yeah. Hello. And a top. Hello. Bye. Hello. Party time. Oh, did you fall? Did you get a computer? Yeah. Oh man, do you want to build a fort with these? I really like these. We got these at Costco. Yeah. Right? And we can build like really cool forts. Yeah. So let's build a fort. All right, Gemma's going to give a tour. We have a little house underneath. Yes, and it leads oh. right into here. And you can go in here, right? Also, go back into the other fort. Let's show them the secret rooftop. Rooftop, go on up. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Sneak attack. I so. Also, what? Oh, a little. <laughs> <laughs> a little side head thing. Nice. Jagger, you want to go in? Yeah. All right. Let's see if there's room for two. Yeah. Plenty of room. <laughs> oh. Peekaboo. Oh, and it leads right into here. Oh. And. And. Oh, you can go out there. I see you. Well, that's going to do it, guys. I think Gabriel had a great day. First day of school. Um, the other girls are kind of grinding it out here. They really like being able to set their own schedule, watch the videos, do the quizzes and tests, and they, they really like that. And yeah, I'm gonna get back to playing with these guys and we'll see you later.